Welcome back to another installment of me making terrible financial decisions and buying poor quality vehicles. This one, Cadillac Swan Song to the V8 rear wheel drive platform. It's a 95 Fleetwood Brome with the LT1 motor. I wanted to learn how to work on a modern vehicle with all the fancy bells and whistles. So naturally I went out and bought pretty much the poorest example of one I could find that I still liked. This was a factory black car. It has a very low quality white respray job. And under the hood here we've got all sorts of lovely things happening. We have, I don't even know what this is supposed to be for. I mean, it's obviously a giant power cable. I'm betting it would have ran to a battery in the trunk. We've got some mouse chewing through the wires over here. That's always nice. This is just terrible. How do you even do this to the power steering? I don't know. So I'm going to have to replace the power steering box. Huh. That's eh, about, it, about on par for this thing. Yeah, kind, kind of slap that on. Yeah. These are lovely glass headlight covers when they're intact. Keeps them from fogging up like these lenses do. One of my favorite things about Cadillac versus the Lincoln of the year. But yeah, if you look everywhere, the white paint is starting to come right off and reveal the black underneath. Came with the fancy GM badge for uh, owning six Cadillacs on this one. So that's pretty cool. I like that. It's also got the nice chrome wheels I like. That's going to have to be replaced. More paint flaking off. Don't need that. Oh look, there's a fly trapped in the car. Which is kind of fitting given the overall state of this thing. I mean, heated lumbar seats. You got that on the Brome package. Mold, no extra cost. That's probably because, see this tape here? This window doesn't go back up. But if you really want to get technical, that one doesn't either. There was a stereo here at some point. Now there's just a bunch of fancy wires and cut connections. And smell is absolutely lovely. Huh. I don't know what this is. I assume it's part of something. Hey, free hornet's nest. Leather seats are filthy, but they'll clean up well. Owner's manual for a 94, which makes sense, because according to the build date, this was built September of 94. Papers. Laser pop? Weird. Junk. I'll throw it out later. No, but so far, the only thing I've done to this car since I got it was peel off the window trim, which was already coming down like... Well, like the clothes on a woman who's realized that she has no other option but work at the low-budget strip club outside the military post. Free mud dauber's nest, paint, and apparently used underwear. So this car's had a fun life. But hey, the fender skirts are there, and so are the side chrome pieces. Which, you know, always a plus. Oh, my record's out. Yeah, there's damage back here. The backup lights, well, they went somewhere. No idea where. But that's okay. Nobody needs to know if I'm backing up. Mostly because this thing probably won't be going anywhere for a while. Let's see. We have two sets of keys. Both of them are radically different. So, only one of them is actually for this car. See? Even the door keys. Are the door keys the same? Let's find out. I don't know. Okay, we're going to start with the one I can actually read the digits on. Does this key work the door? 
No. Does the faded key work the door? Yes. So I lock myself out. Yep, definitely works. Now let's try the ignition. So, since the one with the faded things worked, let's see if that works in here. Yep. That works, and we're showing 277,013 miles. And, hey, full tank of gas. Score. That's something I don't have to buy. But, that's also going to hurt me because the fuel pump is shot. Tries to crank. Battery's nearly dead. Not surprising. Let's see if the uh, legible set of keys works. It goes in, but nope, does not turn. So I have the keys to a completely different Cadillac here. Horn doesn't work. That's fine. Didn't need it. Let's try the trunk release button. Well, I heard it make the motor whir. Yeah, so the faded one works. I think they were just going to swap the cover from this one because, yeah, it just doesn't want to pop up all of the way. Dead battery, so the launcher probably isn't working right. But let's see what we've got in the trunk here. Chrome wheel. Nice. I don't even know what to do with this because without the plug-in connector, this thing's useless. So, junk. Oh! That's what that giant cable under the hood runs to. Apparently it goes to the end cable here that does nothing in the trunk. But let's see. Tylenol. Yep, this thing's going to be a headache. Makes sense. Bible book. Yeah, I'm going to need to pray on this thing. Hey, the trunk emblem. Sweet. Nail polish remover. Maybe the wife wants it. Uh, none of the wheels are missing their center cap, so a spare never hurts. Ice packs. Yeah, this thing's going to cause me pain. Ooh, alternator. Don't have to worry about a core charge. I uh, don't know what that is. That can go over there. We've got rack and sector gear kit. Don't know what for. We'll deal with later. And what else is in here? That's... Some connector and bullets we got bullets that's pretty cool we got 45 auto sweet and a couple shotgun slug slug no nope my mistake buckshot buckshot knife flick some cheap butter knives hey spare piece for the dash sweet and all of these little thingamajigs on it aren't broken cool Engine paint. That's going to be real useful. And ew, more underwear. Huh, spare transmission filler tube. Window switch piece, but not the one I was looking for. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. And here's the RPO build code list. Uh, I'm trying to remember which one it is that's the slick top for the brome. I will translate these later, but the goal of this video is just to show car a car in the state, oh yeah, that's just lovely, that I normally receive them in. I mean, I'm not sponsored, I'm not paid by anyone, this isn't even my full-time job because I can't afford it. Yeah, I'm going to replace this broken one with the one that's in the trunk. So that's going to be a win. That's saving me some time. Yeah. But yeah, no, I'm not sponsored by anyone. I'm not paid by anyone. I don't even do this as a career. I just sell off a car after I'm done with it so I can buy another car and do the exact same thing again. Hmm, hood ornament's still there. That's cool. So that's why you see me buying cheap, poor poverty tier vehicles because well this is a hobby i don't buy anything where i can't afford for it to be a total loss and hauled off to the scrapyard and that's probably what would have been done with this one i mean 
the yeah, trim pieces are all here. I'll get to putting it back together and I'll have an update of the progress as it goes. But for all those interested, stay tuned. I'm going to be working on a modern vehicle. This is going to be fun. <laughs>